This illustration deals with using handle ties in accordance with NEC 240.15b. Now notice in the service equipment, you may have, say, two single pole breakers, uh, and we use a handle tie between those. Now, the handle tie that we use should, should provide and comply with 200.4D as in dog, 210.4B, as well as 240.15B1. Now, notice the dryer to the right. We're using two single pole breakers with a uh, identified type handle tie to su uh, supply the 240 volts uh, to that range. Drop down to the next, we have a receptacle. And if we wanted, for example, to uh, maybe supply 120 volt to the top side and another 120 volt to the bottom side, then we would have to use a uh, double pole breaker or two single pole breakers with handle ties. Down at the bottom, you could see uh, uh, there we have uh, a combination uh, uh, type uh, switch and receptacle, which, uh, pardon me, is to the right. That's the receptacle. 240.15B2 talks about the handle ties. 210.4B deals with a combination switch and receptacle, if that be the case and then 300.13B is in boy. Now, we have maybe a, a water heater below, and again, we either have a double pole breaker or two single pole breakers with handle ties identified for search, such use so that you would actually disconnect both 120-volt uh, uh, legs supplying, or ungrounded conductors, however you may want to say that, supplying power to that uh, water heater. So uh, this illustration, that's basically what it's illustrating. But uh, some of you that's been in the business a long time, that uh, time's passed, a lot of your uh, uh, stores, supply houses, would stock Federal Breakers. And the Federal Breakers had a little hole in the handle. And if you use that handle tie that they suggested, you could get a fault on L1 and L2 and it wouldn't trip. So we used to take nails and put through that uh, hole in those handles so both of them would trip. And uh, the industry said, you know, those are really uh, not a legal way to do it, but a lot of inspectors okayed it because they understood uh, the uh, danger if you didn't. So they come out with the requirement, no, these handle ties have to be identified with the breaker and uh, identified as a handle tie to do uh, uh, the proper work. Some of them have to be listed uh, to be used with their uh, particular uh, breaker, and they have to trip simultaneously both L1 and L2. So figure 9-20 is illustrating the appropriate uh, use of uh, two single pole breakers, say, in this case, using handle ties in accordance with NEC 240.15B.